We discussed our ability to spend as members of households using the circular flow. We said households, spending of household depend on the income that they receive from, from firms, the income they use to spend, and that we referred to as the induced part of consumption. And we also said there was a part of consumption that's independent on income, and we said that was the autonomous part of consumption. But we can discuss this relationship between spending by households and income production using a diagram. So we're going to draw a diagram showing the relationship between consumption and income. Now, let's start with the autonomous part. And we said autonomous consumption is that part of consumption that's independent of income. Consumption that takes place even though income is zero. Now, if we look in our diagram, income is measured on a horizontal axis. Where's income zero? Well, right here on the... If income is zero, a certain amount of spending takes place. Autonomous spending, autonomous consumption. So, on the vertical axis, we find the autonomous part of spending. But then, as income increase, we spend a certain proportion. We said we spend this proportion given by the mass of propensity to consume. So if there's an increase in income shown on the horizontal axis, there's an increase in consumption. So if income increase, we move from this point to this point. And if our income increase some more, we spend a certain proportion of that and we move to this point. And so we can carry on. Increase in income leads to or induces an increase in consumption. So all these points show what has happened to consumption if there's an increase in income. If we link all these points, we have the consumption function. Now, one more thing we can take from this diagram is the fact that the slope of the consumption function is also equal to the mass of propensity to consume. We said if there's an increase in income, we spend a certain proportion, the mass of propensity to consume. But the slope, how does one measure the slope of, it, of a, the consumption function? Well, the slope is the vertical over the horizontal. You might remember your, your math teacher telling you, you must rise before you run. First, the vertical, the vertical chains, chains in C over the horizontal chains, the chains in Y, and that gives you the slope of the consumption function. But we said that is exactly equal to the marginal, marginal propensity to consume. So, what we've discussed of the consumption function with the circular flow is indicated by this diagram of, our, of ours. Consumption is a function of income. It's given by the relationship between the addition in income and the addition in spending, the mass of propensity to consume, also the slope of the curve. We also said, but consumption consists of an autonomous part even though income is zero, we do spend a certain amount.